Hi guys. So I don't understand why people make friends with other people and go as far as to hang out after work and go to the house and hang out with you and like go to like, you know, the movies and like make plans and stuff and like introduce you to your fiance and everything and then like disappear. Like, I understand people have lives, and so do I. Like, I have a lot of things going on. But, like, if you just, like, just dip, and if I'm actually trying to reach out and call you, text you, uh, have plans with you, and you just, like, don't get in conflict with me. Like, I kind of said, like, you were sick. Or you have family issues. But like, if you literally have nothing else going on. And you just like. Dip on somebody like that. Especially if you, you also putting the time in. To make that friendship connection. And if you actually approach me. To make that friendship. That's all you at the end of the day. You're a bad friend. <laughs> to say that. Because I don't understand why. You put me through that because, like, I have a hard time making friends anyway, okay? Um, I grew up very introverted. Like, as a little kid, I was very, like, out there going to public school and everything. I was very shy, kept to myself. But I did have people come up to me and make friends that I thought were friends. And it's happened at school, high school, um... A little bit of like job core and mirror core, you know, I got outside of that and made a lot ton of friends on the internet, you know, and I could count on my hand how many friends I have. But it's just part of the adulting process to where like you just like can't hold a friends. Cause I know like my uh my boyfriend, my fiance, he has made friends for life. He's locked in with a bunch of friends. And he has a lot more friends than me. And we're both kind of introverted. But I was like, how do you have more friends than me? And you don't really keep up with them. Is that a guy thing? <laughs> you know, because like I go hard for my people. You know, I would do anything for my people, my friends, my family, my loved ones. But if you go ahead and betray my trust like that and it's like dip out or like if I'm trying to call and you keep sending me the voice and like, I got to say it's like you're at work or you're doing something. But like if you're continuously to do that, I got a problem. Or if it's going to your house, ding dong it. And I know you're inside a house and you're avoiding the door, the door for what? Or if I'm like texting you and you just read it and not respond. And it's not like, oh, T, I forgot. No, you just left me on red. I, I, I got a problem with that. Cause like, you're not going to take and abuse my kindness for weakness. And put me through that again. I'm going to say what I'm going to say off my chest. And leave it at that. Especially if I've been a really good friend to you. Especially if like I defended you and defended your honor. And stood up to people who are talking bad about you. People who are like trying to do you dirty. People who are trying to set you up. And I stood up for you when I didn't have to. You don't deserve me, boo-boo. You don't. You don't know what a true friend really is. And I'm not going to go through that trauma again. I'm not going to be up at night wondering why, sorry, why you're not my friend. <laughs> I'm not going to go through that because, like, that's such a trauma response to me because I'm going to be up late at night freaking what I did wrong, you know? And I didn't do anything wrong. I wasn't too clingy. I wasn't too aggressive. I was like the perfect friend. And you just dip? That's really... <laughs>
that's really hurtful to me. And I told my fiance, I finally made friends my age and we get on we get along so good. And for you to this do me a lot that because like Like what I what did I do that was so wrong for you to just treat me like I'm like a stranger again? So I didn't do nothing wrong. <laughs> 